Alright, we're checking out the only game that exists to light you and your entire family on fire. It's GTA. We wanted to put Cars vs. Lava Crossroads, and so it's time for a brand new challenge. The devil has projectile vomited his lava all over these obstacles, and now I have to find a way to get from point A to point B without blowing up. There's lava that destroys nature, lava that destroys the earth, and lava that destroys my soul. All around me are some very unfamiliar, sad cars, but as always, only one can make it all the way to the end. Let's do this. I am absolutely stacked with with cars today. Say hello to the land of absolutely no context. I have been told that this entire go through is going to be absolute torture. Wow. <laughs> That's actually kind of neat. All the trees slowly fall down across the road. I assume that should I not beat all of these trees and I have to ramp off of them, there's some sort of wall or something that keeps me from getting all the way to the end. Or I could just land inside of the lava. As one can imagine, if you land in the lava after a short amount of time, you will burn and die. So here's my, here's the strat. This vapid has flames on it, okay? It's like camouflage. Fire can't burn what it can't see. As I try and get to the starting area, I only now realize how bad this thing's traction is. Hey, real quick, could you go ahead and oil up my tires a little bit more? That would be fantastic. How good is this thing off the line? Not good enough. Now I'm going to burn again. Yay! Okay, I'm gonna try and get on this right as that turns green to see if I can beat the first tree. No, there's no way. Uh, you know what? He's got a spoiler on the back. That means he's tricked this out. Also, it's kind of nice to drive something that has tires that, you know, turn the vehicle. Look at that, right there. Look at this. Oh yeah, I'm beating the trees. We're totally beating it. This thing's fast enough. This thing's, oh my God, there's stuff everywhere. No, come on. Oh, the trees are on fire. Huh, how about that? I just wanted to get to the end over here to see where, like what kind of, are you kidding me? What I was trying to say is I wanted to get to the end to see what you do, like how this ends at the, really? This is an unbelievably hard starter board. Oh my God. I don't know if this is supposed to be a warm up or what, a oh, warm up and a lava board, that's, Kind of hilarious. I don't know if this is supposed to be a warm up or what, but as of right now, if I don't do, oh my God, if I don't do this level absolutely perfectly, there's no way to get past it even in this vehicle. And the problem is some of the stuff is so close together, I don't know how I'm gonna weave between it all. Okay, this is a good run. This is a good run, here we go. Oh yeah, I'm going for a new PB. No, it landed right on top of me. What is the chances? Oh, huh. I left the gigantic blood stain on the uh, on the tree. Also, there's a <laughs> there's like a blowtorch coming out from the trunk of this tree. I don't know if that's how nature works. We are churning through cars like hot butter. All right, you know what? Why not just pick it right off the bat? I can already tell I've been given so many cars, and the very first challenge is so unbelievably annoying that there's no reason to just not use the wastelander. The only problem is I don't know if it's fast enough. Oh my God, or I'm gonna start getting bludgeoned to death by trees. You know what, I'll just ramp them or not. It's going good. Now, again, I'm gonna have to ramp this tree. There's, all right, maybe I don't. I'm gonna have, what is this? Oh my God, like a gigantic, is that a tank? That is, that is a spinning tank vomiting fire. I hate you so much, tank. Okay, starting from the beginning, I basically got the format for this. These continue to get closer and closer to hitting you right at, not this one, this one right here. And then it slows down. You can jump this. This one's gonna fall. There's no way I can beat it. We're gonna launch over it. Then I'm gonna go past the tank, launch over this one. And finally, we got our very first challenge done. 33, are you telling me? Oh, all right, I guess we're starting. I was gonna say, I, luckily I saw the, uh, the colors changing? Oh, there's a, oh my God. Okay, is that a burning boat? Are you, no way. <laughs> I was looking at the boat and I got backhanded by the random burning rock. Well, I just learned something unbelievably useful. If you beat a challenge and you keep the same car, it sticks you back at that challenge. So I don't have to do all the challenges over and over again. I'm just gonna have to, power my way through this ridiculous. Now the issue is if I do end up changing to a different car, I'm gonna have to start back at the beginning. Okay, just gotta watch. Oh, that was me not doing 
exactly what I said I was supposed to be. You know what? Why can't... Hold on. I was gonna say, maybe I could just drive on the side of the mountain. I can already tell that while the Wastelander had a really easy time on the first challenge, it's almost impossible to do this one because there's so many rocks and the Wastelander is so long that it's really easy to get nailed. Oh my... Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. I got it. I, now, we're still time. You still have to do this in 33 seconds. Ah, uh, yes. Bowling for Grays. A pastime that all Satans enjoy. <laughs> all of the <laughs> All of the demons in Hades have come to this banquet where they will feast upon my tears. No! Saved it! No! <laughs> this is one of those boards where there's instances where I feel I've done everything right and I've got myself back into the fight only to get elbow dropped from the top rope. I'm just trying to make it to the end. I, I don't even I don't even care about beating the timer right now. I just want to see if I can get to, to wherever this madness finally stops at. This is my best run. Oh yeah. Go through, no big deal. And then wait, good, there we go. Yeah! I have no idea how I'm supposed to do this while it's timed. Because I can already see the wall is up. We've already failed. There's no way through this. At this point, it's more of a matter of, of pride. I just want to get to the end. Maybe I can jump the wall once I get there. Over the sad rock in the middle. No! For the love of all that is holy. Okay! <laughs> Yes! I made it to the end! Again, I can't get past this wall, but I just wanted to be able to do this. We need to... Hold on, I need to try something real quick. <laughs> Did you put... Oh, he put invisible walls all the way up this thing! Look at how high he put the invisible walls! All right, I'll try a new car. This may be a good choice. I know you're like, great, what are you talking about? Listen, this thing's got pipes on it, all right? Look at the speed. Look at that, look at the agility. Boom, right there. Look at the top speed, you ready for this? Bam, made it through. Squeeze through the middle, easy. We're doing this first time. Straight up, we're doing this one first time. I'm gonna go under this. Ah, oh, I plan to go underneath it. I might still be able to beat this. Big jump, sticks the, ah. You've gotta take it to the limit in mom's car. Okay, she's gonna, She's gonna bring you success and a clean change of underwear. Now, the one thing I have to remember is we have to go... Ah! I was gonna say all the way over to the left. All right, you ready for this? We're gonna... I can't really say one time it. We're gonna like 10 time this. Here we go. And... Squeeze it. There we are. Gonna have time. We got time. Yeah! Sweet. As odd as it is, I feel way more comfortable in this vehicle on this type of challenge than I did with the Wastelander. Now, if we get hit by a rock, it's gonna destroy us. But, I have so much less car to get rocked by that I feel like we have a pretty good chance of getting all the way to the end. The big issue is the top heaviness of this thing. It, it does have a tendency to flip over anytime it hits one of those bumps, and that's gonna be a problem. Now I'm going to rest in this lava. Fortunately, I'm getting to the point where I've done this challenge so many times that I'm starting to be able to rely on a little bit of muscle memory. And the big the big idea is don't try and take these turns at full speed. Let off the gas, kind of coast around them this way. Oh, you don't want that. You do not want the back end to start skidding out like what just happened. Hold on, this we might have this. We might have this. Oh yeah, got it. No way. How much closer can you get? Are you serious? Oh, I felt that failure in my giblets right there. I'm gonna try and pull out of these turns a little bit faster because I need to shave off I, like an eighth of a second, okay? It's barely, barely a fraction of a second. Well, I did not shave off a fraction of a second. Okay, I'm going for the perfect run this time. If I don't get the perfect run, I might try a new car. I hate myself right now. You know what? Fine. This is what you get. Yeah, you know, I'll take my death. I will take my death to get out of this. This has a jump capability. Other than that, this seems like a terrible idea. Still, I'll try it. You never know. We'll find out right away. 
if it can if it can make it past the falling trees. Ow. That's what happens when I don't press the jump button in time. Well, the jump is really smooth. So what I found is that the jump takes a while to regenerate. So it's not fantastic, like right there. But if I use it sparingly at just the right time, oh, and by the way, it, you can get under that as well. I found even with the spikes coming out of the car, if I use it sparingly, we can get to the second level. Maybe asking yourself, Gray, how does this beautiful porcupine of a vehicle do against the meteorites of the devil? Well, pretty bad. Because if the last car couldn't make it on a perfect run with no crashes, I don't think this has any chance. And I don't know if it's faster than mom's car at all. It's pretty good at dodging stuff. Yeah, see, the wall already came off. I want to give this one more try. I've done about... 10 more goes in this car. And I did have an instance where I got an almost perfect run. So it is possible. I just treat this a lot like mom's car. Very smooth into the turns. Not a lot of acceleration. Oh God, I almost screwed that up for myself. Now right here, this rock, jump over it. Right there. Check that out. Yeah, finally got it. And I had two. Three seconds to spare. Oh, that makes me feel good. So, what is this? Is this not time? What am I dealing with here? You have to jump across these little... I don't know what I'm supposed to do, so I'm just going to jump across the... That blow me up? Am I going to burn alive? Am I dying? I'm okay. I'm not burning. Oh, this is really on fire. This one over here. Okay. Maybe... Not. Maybe you don't burn in all of it? I'm not sure. Or maybe I just can't touch the, uh, <laughs> the burning, what are those, the burning buoys? All right, I don't want to test my luck, so we're just going to jump around the burning buoys. I can hear things going on with my car, but it has not... I shouldn't have said anything. I, I, oh my god. Hey, you want to know something horrible? If I fail this next instance here, it doesn't count. Like, I have to go back to the beginning of this one. That means I have to do this over and over again until I somehow manage to make this a second time. I have an idea. Just trust me on this. You did! Oh, I almost made it. <laughs> I literally think I can jump this. Yes! Oh my god, you should have put an invisible wall over here if you didn't want me to jump that. Screw you, Alex! So, basically what this is is if you touch any of the buoys, it does damage, but it doesn't kill you right away. So I guess I get a couple of opportunities to take some damage, but not blow up immediately. Curb boost, big jump, sticks to landing. Go, a big jump. There we are. Oh no, I can't stop though before that L turn. So I'm able to mostly get through all of this. The big problem is right here. We might have this bounce out. Perfect, okay. So if I bounce out of that one, I lose enough speed to the point where I can make this. So now, just watch out for the speed boats. And finally, we're gonna have another portal. Get all the speed we can. Roll it, jump it, over the boat, epic. And now we have a portal. Oh, finally. 30 seconds. After everything I've been through, bring it on. This car has done surprisingly well. Why is all the shrubbery on fire? Is that bad? If I touch the burning shrubbery, does it hurt? Oh my god. There is a cauldron of fire laying on its side. Oh, I am on fire! So if I touch the burning bushes or maybe the cauldron, it sets you on fire. There's just burning bushes everywhere. Everything's on fire over here. Fortunately, I think my car put itself out. I think it's from all the armor I have. I'm not really sure. I can definitely take burning for a while and still survive in this vehicle, which is probably the the big benefit to driving it, considering the rest of the time, it is just non-stop four-wheeled agony trying to move this thing. There's the explosion. All right, we're trying a new car. This looks amazing. It's like the Tron version of the Sprunk Mobile. Oh, forgot that tree was there. Listen, it's been a while since I've done this board, so I totally forgot that right at the very beginning, there's just a stump chilling out trying to murder you. All right, this isn't doing too bad. Yeah. I don't know if we could squeeze under this. Survey says it can. I think we're gonna one-time this. Oh, we got it, we're one-timing it. 
Nice! I think I killed a bird on my way over here. How does it do against a board that tries to turn you into veal the whole time? All I can feel is the mallet of punishment rolling down the hill that rock just stopped in the middle. I've been at this for a while on this car. The problem is the drift. It drifts too much. Oh, yeah. Oh, the side-by-side -side of greatness. Look at that grip. Look at how it grips the... The ash, well, whatever this is, this this concrete wood, I'm not really sure. Look at how it grips it, though. Fantastic. Considering the surface is the same all the way through here, I think we may do this one time. Pfft. What I was saying is, I think we may do this two times. As long as I don't get murdered by one of the rocks. Look at the speed, look at the pickup. The handling is okay. It does slide out a little bit if I try and hold too long on the acceleration going into these turns. Okay, here we go. Big straightaway. Try and go around this. Did pretty well. This is gonna be 50-50. Yeah! 50-50, but we got it. Jumping over the buoy holes. This thing is surprisingly good at. Right through the middle. Looking good, easy to stop. All right, here's the strat. We're going all the way back to here. I'm gonna kind of come around this corner, not get RKO'd by a boat, and never mind, I'm gonna drown. Well, I'm not gonna drown, I'm gonna burn, and then I'm gonna drown. Something I learned, I can't make it through this final jump. There's no way. Even if I go all the way back and get a little boost and jump, it just plants itself right at the bottom. We're going supercar. This should do pretty good. It is very, very squat to the ground. So when it comes to getting clotheslined by Andre the sad tree giant down there, I should be able to just go underneath it. Ah! Do you know how many times I've burned alive thus far? Now, I, it is really good at outrunning the trees. <sighs> I might still be able to do this even after, oh, nope, never mind. Okay, squeeze to the middle, nice and slow. Have a little bit of patience. It's not easy. Now we can go under the clothesline, easy to do in something this short and we get to the next challenge. No joke, the rock challenge on this is incredibly easy because of the sheer amount of speed that you get going around the board. I can get this done with like five seconds to spare. Look at that. Well, all right, that was about three seconds. Easily gonna have the distance. Easily gonna have the speed. As long as I don't touch any of, any of the endangered buoys will be fine. So you can absorb a little bit of a lava bath here, as long as you don't touch the buoys or the boats. A anything with a B in it, come on, just get to the edge. Finally, back to the bushes. In order to beat this, we're going to need an unreasonable amount of speed, which is what this car has. I'm also going to need to somehow dodge all of the bushes and the bushes are, what is going on? Why was that canister jumping around? I touched the bushes. I'm on fire. Oh, this burns really fast. Why is this car so much more flammable than all of the other cars? I have been doing this bush blasting for a while. What I have found is, oh my God. Okay, wasn't expecting the crate to come out of nowhere. What I have found is just be on fire and see if you can get to that checkpoint. I've just got a mess of burned out cars all over this board right now. They're everywhere. A lot of them are in the lava. Every Oh, so that drops from the crane. It's some sort of, I don't know, maybe like a dynamic event or something like that. I'm not really sure if it comes out of nowhere. Yeah, look, the stuff, oh, I can go through this. <laughs> oh God, no. Oh no, hold on. We're gonna- No! This has collision effects! How could you do this to me? This is a good run. Oh, this is the king of all runs. I'm not sure if that touch- uh, uh, Hold on. I'm not sure if that counted as touching the bush. No, that definitely counted. Oh, we're on fire! But no! I'm so close! <laughs> the agony never ends! Come on, baby. The, the canister dropped over to the, to the left. Okay, if I can go past this dosi doing trees without being set on fire, I think we got it. Hold on, I think we're gonna get it. Pass another shipping container. Uh, did that count? Doesn't look like it did. Oh my God, no! Oh, it did count, I'm on fire. Ah, yes. Another day driving Florida around. 
Oh, how I've missed you, Florida. Are you here to give me 100% humidity and a God, soul pounding migraine? I just need to dab on the bushes. See that, the left hand dab, right hand dab, right there. Around the cauldron of sadness. But between the flaming bushes. Okay, this is doing, this is going really well. Hold on. This is going really well. And then we're gonna have to pull it on the side. Punch it! Come on! No! Yes! We have a checkpoint! 25 seconds. It looks like I have to drive through one of the roadways from The Last of Us. Ah! Well, that was a, that was, that legitimately surprised me. Was not expecting the car to randomly explode. Did you rig these cars with proximity mines? <laughs> oh, whoa. Okay. Uh, so some of the cars explode and some of them don't. Nope, some of them definitely, some of them definitely randomly explode. I'm just testing something. I know I'm losing a lot of flesh, I just wanna see. Huh, I love it. It's like the 25 second social distancing challenge. You can outrun the explosions. They're definitely timed. And if you keep going, you can get past a lot of them. And then they blow behind you. Okay. Just gotta make sure that we do not spin out. And then over to the, about the right, right, middle, middle. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, we're doing real good. We're slaloming the apocalypse. The apocalypse can't stop me. The apocalypse just stopped me. That is infuriating. We're gonna get this. These are the last 25 seconds of my life. Oh yeah. Oh, we're past, we're past the explosions. Now that, that sounded like it could have been an explosion right next to us. It's pretty far behind us, but I need to, I need to not hit a single car and not have the back end come out on me. This is good. Oh, this is so good. Yes. And that means that we have a winner. Well, I'm gonna go land inside this lava because death feels good. Anyway, folks, hope you just have some GTA. Till next time, stay foxy, much love.